sixth grade, module one, lesson 15, classwork. Exploratory challenge. At the end of this morning news segment, the local television station highlighted area pets that need to be adopted. The station posted a specific website on the screen for viewers to find more information on the pets shown and the adoption process. The station producer checked the website two hours after the end of the broadcast and saw that the website had 24 views. One hour after that, the website had 36 views. Create a table to determine how many views the website probably had after one hour after the end of the broadcast based on how many views it had two and three hours at the, after the end of the broadcast. Using this relationship, predict how many views the website will have four, five, and six hours after the end of the broadcast. Okay, so we need to create a table. And we want to know how many hours, or how many views it would have after one, two, three, four, five, and six hours. So this is the hours, and this is views. So we know that after two hours, it had 24 views, because they told us that in the first passage. And after three hours, so one hour after that, so three hours, it had 36 views. So it wants us to use that to determine how much it probably had after one hour. So if we see the relationship to get from 2 to 24 and 3 to 36, both times we're multiplying by 12. So if I do 1 times 12, they probably had 12 views in one hour. And if we wanted to figure out four, five, and six hours, four times 12 is 48, five times 12 is 60, and six times 12 is 72. Then exercise two wants to know what is the constant number C that makes these ratios equivalent? Or basically what were we multiplying by here? And that would be 12. The constant number is 12. For every one hour, there's 12 views. Using an equation, represent the relationship between the number of views, V, the website received, and the number of hours, H, after the morning news is broadcast. So we want an equation. We know that the number of hours times 12 is equal to the views. Or we could write it as 12 times h, 12h, is equal to the views. Two different ways to represent that. Exercise 3. Use the table created in exercise 1 to identify sets of ordered pairs that can be graphed. We want to go back to here, and we're going to create ordered pairs based on this chart. So our first one would be 1, 12. So that would be represented as 1, 12. 2, 24, and so on. So let's write those down here. We have 1, 12, 2 hours was 24 views, 3 hours is 36, 4 hours is 48 views, 5 hours 60 views, and 6 hours was 72 views. Exercise 4. Use the ordered pairs you created to depict the relationship between hours and number of views on a coordinate plane. Label your axes and create a title for the graph. Do the points you plotted lie on a line? Okay, so I'm going to label down here the number of hours. And then going this way, we have number of views. And then we'll call this views per hour. Okay, let's start by labeling the number of hours. We only need to go up to six hours. So I'm going to skip a line every time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, and I'll just add a couple extra so we can extend our line. And then going up, I'm going to count by, see we need to go all the way up to at least 72, maybe further. So I'm gonna count by fours. Let's see, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, So now we can plot. And our first point was 112. So I'm going to find 112. Then we had 224, 336, 448, 560. And that is all of our coordinate pairs. Now it wants to know, do the, do the points you plotted lie on a line? So I'm gonna use my ruler and connect all of these points because they do all lie on a line. And now we would be able to see any amount of views. So for seven hours, if we looked at seven here and went all the way up the line to seven and saw where it connected, if our graph was a little longer, we could then go over and see how many views that would be. So the answer is yes, they lie on a line. Exercise five, predict how many views the website will have after 12 hours. Use at least two representations, for example, tape diagrams, tables, double number line diagrams to justify your answer. For the first one, we can just extend the table that we'd created earlier. So we already knew that one was 12. Two was twenty four, so we were multiplying by twelve each time. Eight times twelve is ninety six. 9 times 12 is 108, 10 times 12 is 120, 11 times 12 is 132, and 12 times 12 is 144, 13, we don't need to go that far, but 13 times 12 would be 156. So we need to, to know how many views it will have after 12 hours. Well. That is right here. So 12 views would be one or 12 hours is 144 views. But we need to show two different representations. So I'm going to do a tape diagram of let's have hours and views. So one hour is 12 views. So if we had 12 of those, so if one hour is 12 views, then all of these hours would be 12 views. Now it's a little bit bigger. So 12 times 12 is equal to 144 views. So there's two different representations. You could also have done 
a double line diagram. Exercise six. Also on the news broadcast, a chef from a local Italian restaurant demonstrated how he makes fresh pasta daily for his restaurant. The recipe for his pasta is below. So they have three eggs beaten, one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of salt, two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of water, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Determine the ratio of the number of tablespoons of water to the number of eggs. So we want a ratio of water to eggs. Let's find water. Water is two tablespoons to eggs is three. So it would be two to three is the ratio of tablespoons of water to number of eggs. Provided the information in the, in the table below, complete the table to determine ordered pairs. Use the ordered pairs to graph the relationship of the number of tablespoons of water to the number of eggs. So for two tablespoons of water, there are three eggs. So if we had four tablespoons of water, which is doubling the number of water, then we're going to double the eggs too. So that would be six. If we, so that was times two. If we want to do times three, then we need to multiply the number of eggs by three and we'll get nine. If we're doing two times four, we get eight. So three times four would be 12 eggs. If we did two times five to get 10, then three times five is 15. And if we do two times six to get 12, then three times six would be 18 eggs. Okay, so then the ordered pairs would be two, three, four, six, six, nine, eight, 12, 10, 15, and 12, 18. So let's make a graph. So this is the pasta recipe. And we're gonna have tablespoons of water I'm gonna need a little bit more room here. So, let's see, because I need to write the numbers there. So I'm gonna write it down here. Tablespoons of water. And then we have number of eggs going this way. Okay, so let's start with tablespoons of water. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I skipped lines just so that it'd be, you'd get really, really crowded if I wrote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I just skip lines to keep it a little bit cleaner. I'll do the same thing here. And I knew this was a 20 by 20 graph. So the reason that I skipped by twos is because I see my largest number here is 18 and the largest is there is 20. So I knew I could fit everything I needed on this graph by giving one line to everything. If we were going up to 100, I might have had to count by tens or maybe fives to fit everything on the chart. So you have to look and see what your how high your numbers are going and then figure out how to fit it on the chart. So if we plot 2, 3, then we have 4, 6, 6, 9, 8, 12, 10, 15, 12, 18. And then the next question says, what would you have to do to the graph in order to find how many eggs would be needed if the recipe was larger and called for 16 tablespoons of water? So if we needed 16 tablespoons of water instead of just 12, so 14, we need this much, we're gonna have to extend the graph. And then, 
I could figure out where it goes by drawing a line. Now the problem with my graph is that 16 looks like it would be all the way up here. So you can either extend the graph here or I'm just going to add it to the chart. So I know that 2 times 8 gets me 16 tables of waters. So if I do 3 times 8 for the eggs, I'll get 24 eggs. So we're going to need 24 eggs. Determine how many tablespoons of water will be needed if the chef is making a large batch of pasta and the recipe increases to 36 eggs. Support your reasoning using at least one diagram you find applies best to the situation and explain why that tool is best to use. So what I'm going to use is a double line graph because I think that makes the most sense here since we're skipping um, based on the tablespoons and the eggs. So for example, we start at 2 tablespoons of water, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and we want to get to 36 eggs. So I'm going to start down here with eggs. And we know eggs was jumping by 3. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and I'm trying to get to 36. So 33, 36. Now we just need to find the matching water. And water was going by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So this tells me we're going to need 24 tablespoons of water. if there are 36 eggs. 